and welcome to Four Parks One Day. Let's uh, try and do this. <laughs> yeah, we've set ourselves a little bit of a challenge today, but we'll take you along. We want to try and achieve one snack, one ride, one character, and one photo pass at least in every park. In every single one. There's no yeah. reason we couldn't ride more than one ride. We're going to just try and see what the wait times are doing and try and let that dictate our day. Yeah, we um, haven't got Genie, but we've got a couple of Lightning Lanes which we paid for. Yeah, um, we, we think it'd be yeah. easy for anyone to be able to do four parks one day by purchasing Genie. You'd be able to just go in, ride a ride, yeah. and get out. So we feel like that'd be cheating. So we have booked a Lightning Lane for Flight of Passage, but that yeah. doesn't count as part of the challenge, if that makes sense. So yeah. we just wanted to ride it. Oh yeah, we'll no, try, we just yeah. wanted to ride it. So we'll try and do another ride in Animal. We'll just yeah. look at what the wait times That's are. That's what I was trying to get at. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get out of here. Also, I'm doing Guardians on my own again. Around the time, so Epcot's going to be our third park. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll get there around five to six. So I've booked one for five just to be safe. Yeah. We'll see. I'm glad you said that actually. So the order of the parks we're going to do is Animal first, mm -hmm. then Hollywood, yeah. then Epcot, and then finish off in Magic Kingdom and reward ourselves for our... Oh, With happily gonna, ever yeah, after. That, yeah, that'll be our reward for a long, a long day. So I'm also really excited because I think we're going to try Woody's lunchbox today, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to just try as much as we can, and that's the idea of trying one snack as well, because we want to. Oh yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be a snack, just a food item, um, just because there's still a few things that we want to we want to try before we go home. Yeah, I've got a big snack list going yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let's do this. Woo! Four bucks one day. <laughs> So we've left the resort. I actually bought this top the other day, not thinking about four parks one day, but I put yeah. it on this morning thinking, what a great Turn around. It's got all four park icons on. Dan going out of his comfort shirt, comfort zone wearing a Disney wearing a Disney shirt and a big t shirt. Is it me or is it massive? <laughs> it's not massive. But yeah, that's the idea. All four parks on the back. Woo -woo. I've only gone and forgot my sunglasses, so I'm just currently heading back. But does anyone else feel like it's so annoying walking back on yourself, isn't it? So Animal Kingdom is one of the furthest bus stops, if not the furthest. There's like a special events bus stop after. Oh no, Disney Springs, sorry. But why don't they just put the Animal Kingdom one where the Hollywood one was now? If they're, not, if they're using a skyline, it would make sense. These buses have been so reliable for us this trip. Every time we've came for one, it's been here, which is absolutely amazing. So this morning we've actually took advantage of trying to have a little bit of a lion. Um, we were going to rope drop the park but as it's going to be a long day as it is we thought having that extra hour in bed would be uh, more important than getting in here an hour earlier than, than everyone else. So um, it's currently about 10 past 9 yeah, and uh, I should imagine we will get back to the resort about 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah we're not going back today we're just going to be on it out out out. Yeah, lovely again, it's not too hot, the sun is shining. Like I say, it's only 9 o'clock though, so we could probably be in for a nice, uh, nice warm day today. Very happy. Yes, let's get this challenge smashed then. I've actually decided to uh, change my footwear today. I've not really worn these yet on this trip, but I'd bring them out. They've got like a bit of a, a foam sole on them, so yeah, as much as my uh, on running, on clouds have been good. I feel like for this uh, this challenge I needed these bad boys on. So I've just noticed as well my magic band's got all four parks on it as well. Well you picked it wasn't it? Yeah. Seems to be a running theme. So we've got all four park icons on there. Yeah you've got your chip and dial on there that we're going to try and meet them today. We're going to try and meet them today because we met Daisy and Donald here last time so it's our last character to meet unless it's just for Earth Day again. Yeah we'll, we'll see. You vibing? Had a we did, and um, we just off. yeah, man. Oh yeah. yeah, does that count? It's technically outside the park. I think it's well up on by the tree. And there's my good-looking tree. We love yeah. that tree so much. It's very picturesque, isn't it? That's probably the word that I should be using. Picturesque. Tree. Picturesque. You wanna? Do you wanna do the tree photo now or on the way out? I think because we've got quite a fancy to get to get, we should do it on the way out. Yes. So yes, that's a good plan. So, breakfast, flight of passage, but first, creature comforts for breakfast. Yes. And a character, we can't forget a character. We're going to keep our eyes out. I'm either after Russell, or... Whoever's here for Earth Day. There could be characters here for Earth Day, yeah. And um, who's the one we haven't done? Chippendale. We haven't done Chippendale. We did them in Magic Kingdom, but we haven't done them here, so... Yeah, we've seen them in there. Uh, What's it called? The space outfit. What are they called? No, they're cosmic summit. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. I buzz. My brain's fogged this morning. Um, so guys, this little mark on my dress is sun cream. You can't right? see. Right. 
ignore that. Sun cream. Sun cream. Um, yes, so after creature comforts, I've actually seen a very not. I've seen someone drinking like a nice cream frappuccino y looking thing the other day, and I was like, oh, I really want it. And then we completely forgot to get it, so. Um, yeah, we'll show you what we get. So let's step into what could be mayhem. After you. It's not too bad. Could be worse. So I must admit that was very quick. It was five minutes in and out. We walked straight in, ordered. There was a big queue for people waiting, but we got it. I got my frappuccino. Uh, what is it? It's Pooh and Piglet. We've met them, oh, so we might skip this one. Pooh and Piglet are coming out to say hi now. Yeah, five minutes in the night. What did you have caught? We had a ham and cheese croissant and a strawberry pecan. Yes, I can't remember what I had. I've had a ham and cheese croissant too, but I've had like a caramel tipped frappuccino. So we'll let you know how they are. First food of the day. Cheers. Tan's not had the chimp ham and cheese croissant before, so. I'm just trying to compare it in my head to the um, egg and cheese sausage muffin from there. This is really nice. I really like this. Sorry, I thought I just flew into my, um, into my arm. Yeah, it's nice, the croissant's nice and soft, isn't it? Yeah, really good. This is so good. You like it? I highly it? recommend this if you like caramel. I'll put the name in now underneath. I'll have to look it up because I can't remember after the top of my head, but it's like a caramel. I think it said the word ripped, ripped top frappuccino or something like that. Mm. I will attach it underneath now, but very good. I don't really like caramel drinks, but it's really good. It's nice and refreshing. I tried it and the caramel was nice, but it just tastes like coffee to me, so I don't really like it. But you're a fan. <laughs> I don't think like, I say this about a lot of things here, but I don't think it does it a lot of justice with the camera. Like, when you're here, it's like so immersive, isn't it? And like, you're almost just like lost in it. And every time I get the camera, I don't feel like I can show what I want to show in comparison to what I can see. It still blows my mind that someone's made that. So, photo pass, done. Yeah? I think we're going to try and wait for another ride there because we don't want to count flight of passage because it's a fast pass and we've cheated a little bit. And we're not going to count the breakfast either. We want to get like a snack, a snack or something, yeah. yeah. So we've still got to, after the flight of passage, we've still got to ride a ride. We've still got to get a snack and we still need to meet a character. Yeah, okay. But photo pass, done. So it's posting at 70 minute wait already. It's only 5 to 10 in the morning, but we've got our lightning line to scan, so. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thank, Welcome you, in. Have fun. Thank you. Just follow around the railing and fill the room. What number are That's we? That's right. Please fill all the way in and stand on your assigned number. Numero uno. And we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees. Passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with all. So we've just rode. Which side are you going? So we've just rode Flight of Passage. Which was amazing as always. Oh, the most amazing experience. But there was um, there was an elderly lady that rode it with us, and she was severely claustrophobic, and she was a little bit worried in the like the pre-film uh, parts yeah. of the ride. But her son was very was calming her down, and Courtney yeah. was talking to her and like motivating her to get it done. Yeah. And like it's four and a half minutes. You've got this. Like yeah. she just said, she's gonna treat herself to a margarita, and now she's done it. She's we done it. Fun. Yeah, but the whole time she was on it. She loved it. She so was much. she was like this is amazing and like all those little comments she was making and watching her enjoy it for the first time yeah. almost made our experience so much better. It was really really lovely and then afterwards the son tapped me on the back and said thank you and I literally was just like tears. Yeah, in you my was eyes. emotional, weren't you? It was so nice. But yeah, I think I think having that like we st we we're still so grateful to be here. But then when you see people that have been here for their first time and experiencing these amazing things that we've experienced. That we love so much. Yeah, and we love it so much. Like, like, like I say, it really, really made our experience it a whole load amazing. better. It was amazing, and yeah. just the ride in itself was just so, like we rode it yesterday, but it just felt more special today. It did, yeah. Yeah. It's a good ride, isn't it? Sorry, I'm banging into you. It's all right, I don't really know where I'm going. So after checking wait times, I think we're going to head over to Expedition. Yeah. The park seems very busy today, like most rides are hitting 70, 60, 50 already. But Expedition's posted at 35. Yeah, it's going to So I think that's the smallest wait we're going to have, other than Cali River, but we don't want to get wet today. Cali River's only a five minute wait, but yeah. Dan doesn't want to get his uh, clothes and shoes wet, so... Well, that's it, I don't, I don't want to get like, my boxes wet and stuff and be wet for the rest of the day, so... 
Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and check out Expedition Everest and uh, potentially, potentially get a snack on the way back, which will be our ride, our snack, and our photo pass done. Then and we then, start meet yeah, we just need to go and find a character then. Yeah. Woo! Give them a shout hello. Wish them well as they share the exciting news about their friend Donald Duck. No, we said that the other day. Yeah. Good morning. 35 minute wait. Oh. Expedition done. It was so good, wasn't it? Yeah. Dan had his hands up again. Cheers. So yeah, that's uh, photo pass and ride done now. We're gonna go and get a snack, and we're hope, gonna try and hope to meet a character before we move over to Hollywood. Hopefully. It just me. They changed the shape of this. So we've just ordered the Yeti Sunday, which is a chocolate soft serve topped with vanilla soft serve, blue cake crumbs, sugar, sweet snowflakes, and a chocolate Yeti image. Six pound seventy nine. Do you want to show it? Lovely. Just don't it? We're gonna eat it on the way to find it in Dale. So we're gonna try the Yeti Sunday. Animal! <laughs> Animal. <laughs> oh, I already got your spoon. Oh, Sweet. sorry. Two spoons for them. We always laugh because my best friend's little one, when me, when I went to see him like the other week, he kept going, animal, animal. We went for a walk and he was wearing like a, it was like when it was winter time, and he was wearing like an animal, like all in one thing, we went on a walk, and he kept pointing at it going, animal, animal. So every single time we mentioned, what, are we going to animal tomorrow? I'm like, like, animal, animal. animal. <laughs> just so funny to us. Because he wouldn't just say it once, he'd say it like, twice every time. Can you try this? It's got Yeti on. Shaking Stevens. Mm. Nice, but it's white chocolate, which isn't my favourite, but I mean, it's still nice. Yeah, this. Mm. This was needed. Can't taste of anything. Which? You, you can taste it. It's white chocolate. Oh yeah, I have now. I was just saying, I think it's because I've got ice cream. Yeah. Mm. And there is chocolate at the bottom. That's just going to be chocolate ice cream. Are you allowed to have a Sunday and a Thursday? <laughs> also guys, snack in Animal Kingdom? Done. Done. Dan enjoying his ice cream. The sun is shining. Moods are good. Yes, Kev. So after these, this will be our uh, everything done, won't it? In Animal. So how are we going to get to Hollywood from here? Must have found me and Beach, Skyline to Hollywood. That sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to create it somewhere right over here. Sorry. Right. Yeah. I know so many friends on there, right? They got Chip and Nail on there. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have a good day. So that's the character interaction done. It was such a good interaction and at the end, um, Dale tried to fist bump Dan, but Dan like, obviously he hugged him and then went to fist bump, but you didn't see the fist bump. Yeah. So as Dan walked away, he went. Yeah, and he just walked and off, he didn't he? And walked, walked away, it was so funny. I had to go and make up with him. I was yeah. like, come on, I put my arm around him. He was so like, I'm sorry. Hug. And then he gave me a big hug after. The interactions are just so good, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I love it. Dan just does it for me, but I love it so much. I think you do <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Don't you? You love it, really. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's alright. Oh, and then um, Chip accidentally knocked my ear. I think one of them knocked my ears off, and then Chip put them back on my head for me. <laughs> so that's everything that we want to get done here at Animal. Photo, snack, ride, character. Yes, done. all done. So we're going to move on to Hollywood now. Yeah, I think we're just going to try and get a photo at the Tree of Life because we haven't done that, and then we're going to bus the Caribbean Beach, I think, as we already said, and then go from there on the skyline to Hollywood. Yes. And then time again. Yeah. Four so things excited. to achieve there as well. Wherever I 
So that's a wrap for Animal Kingdom on this trip. This will be the last time we see it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Until November. Until November. We've had a great time in Animal this morning. It's been nice. So let's get to Hollywood. So on the way out of Animal Kingdom, Dan's got himself a Fanta orange. His favourite. Sorry if you can't hear, we're just where the buses are. Waiting, Caribbean Beach bus is coming in now. Any good? Always, he says. Good day, Islanders. Caribbean Beach. Let me know, let's go back to Caribbean Beach. Remember, last time we got off at Old Port Royal. Yeah. Old Port Royal is just going on, so we need to get off and get off at North Trinidad. Or we need to get off at Jamaica. So if you are visiting Caribbean Beach or staying at the Caribbean Beach Resort, um, the Skyliner is closest to that bus stop. So we've just came from Animal Kingdom on the bus. It was the first stop, Jamaica. And we're just walking across the car park now, which will bring us, I can see the Skyliner straight away. I'm not sure if I finished what I was saying there. Someone was just asking for directions to the nearest bus stop. Um, but yeah, we've been walking for 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. And the Skyliner <laughs> is right in front of us. So it's not far at all. Ready for takeoff. Here we go! Da -da -da. So whilst we're just sitting on the skyline and now just not killing time but we have time to kill I think now would be a good opportunity for you guys to go and hit the subscribe button <laughs> Absolutely! I'm, I'm just going to film here now until you've done it I'm not going to speak just gonna... <laughs> Come on, you've got time? Yeah, you're hilarious No, that would be really great if you could um, I'm only joking but yeah um, we are now heading to Hollywood I can see Tower of Terror right in front of us. Oh, it's really refreshing in here, isn't it? Like, yeah. if anyone's worried about being in like a confined space, I've got these like vents that are open, and the same behind as well. And it pulls through like a really nice breeze when you're travelling on the um, on the skyline, and it's nice. I'm just going to do a mobile order for Woody's lunchbox. Would you like barbecue brisket mountain soup or grilled three cheese sandwich and soup? It comes with soup. No, but we're going to get soup to dip it. I don't really know how it works, but I've seen a lot of people have it with soup, so that's what I want. Just... So I think we're going to get the brisket and brisket. We're going with the brisket. And it does, it does come with soup. You select your dip, so it comes with the soup. Hollywood Studios coming up. Right, so our arrival window is from 10 past 1 to 1.40 and it's now 20 to 1. So, it's about half an hour we can collect it. When everything we have it. Excited. Munchins and crunchings. I really wanted to try this, so I'm very excited. Thank you. So we're here, we've made it to park number two of the day. Woo! <laughs> Can I get a Woo! <laughs> Who's that wonderful girl? Well then, same rules apply, let's get stuck in. One, one photo pass, Yay. one snack or food, one ride and one character meet. Could this be a photo pass? Yeah. So it's about 12.50 currently, is that right? Yeah. Um, we've just had our photo pass straight away. I feel like we will blast this park quicker than we did Animal. Just, yeah, to, just to get us completely back on schedule. Um, so I believe Star Tours is five minute wait. But it's a 15 minute wait, but I think we are going to go and do that now and then go and pick up our lunch from Woody's lunchbox. Yes, and then we're already three quarters of the way through this park. Yeah, we just need to. I think we're going to try and meet Sully and some of the characters in Pixar Place that we didn't meet the other day. We met Edna and we met Frozone, but that, yeah. they were the only ones that we met. So. Yeah. Hopefully we can meet Sully. Yeah, we've chosen to ride Star Tours because every other ride is like very busy. I feel like very it always is busy. here, isn't it? I feel I like like Star Wars is always on the young quick, isn't it? Yeah. So what's um what's Toy Story posting at? Um, Midway Mania. Yeah. Swirling Saucers is 40 minutes. Well, I think that says everything. Um, Swirling Saucers is 40 minutes. Two hours for Slinky Dog. Wow. 50 minutes for Midway Mania. Right. Is it Midway Mania? Is yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. And what about the Galaxy's Edge rides? They're just going to be a joke, aren't they? 70 minutes for Rise of the Resistance, 65 for Smuggler's Run. I don't know if you heard that. 70 minutes for Rise, 60 or 65? 65. 65 for Smuggler's Run. And did we say Mickey's, Mickey Minutes was at 50? It's at 50. We were going to try and um, single ride a Smuggler's Run, but sometimes that can take just a long time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, start tours it is. Photo pass done. We just need to get some food and meet a character after this. So on to start tours for a 20 minute wait. Very warm to that. Mr. Pinesby, I suggest we run a diagnostic of the shield defenses. Better to be safe than sorry. 
This is the way. Spit that out. So that is Star Tours done. It was good, I really liked it and the whole like crowd in there wasn't there, they were really excited and we all came yeah. to the end. Yeah, uh, it, did po it was posted at 20 minutes but it was, it was 10, minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, it was 10 minutes. Um, so that's that done, that's photo pass done, ride done yeah. and food is ordered, we're going to go and pick it up now. So, so we're about to pick it up, I'm just going to say that we're here and to prepare the order. Yeah, we'll uh, show you once we've got it. Andy's Backyard! Uh, it's going to be around the corner to your left where the cats are standing in front of you. Thank you. So, very busy. Oh, okay. People absolutely everywhere. I don't want to film too many people too much, but very busy just to get in here, wasn't it? So I'm glad that we've purchased it beforehand. So we picked up the barbecue brisket melt, it was, and it comes with soup. And it was $13.29, but I think yeah, we got the dining credit with it, so it is available on the dining plan. What's this drink? Cornish is going to get the name of the drink up. I'm going to try it while we're waiting. Mmm. Nothing. It's called a frozen mystic portal punch. It's a ball. Frozen mystic portal punch. Frozen mystic portal punch. Does anyone else know any tongue twisters? Yeah. Quite nice actually. Yeah, it's instantly low flavour, something you made. It's nice, I like that. There's a watermelon in it. Too short. I'm getting watermelon vibes. It is nice. I do like it. I've dipped it in the tomato soup. Is it nice? That is nice. <laughs> you can't really taste the pickles though. So we don't like pickles. We love a pickle though. But we love it. I'm sure you could get it without. You could ask for it without. Yeah. That's really nice. We forgot to mention, didn't we, that that was part of the dining plans where it came as a meal. Yeah, yeah. So we got the meal included as part of our Yeah. Dan's turn. Yeah, so we are sharing it. I'm going to dip it in the soup too. Because we want to try and eat loads of things, we're just going to share stuff. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Instant flavour again, the soup is... Mm. That brisket is so good. Yeah, it is really good. Mm. So yeah, we're going to enjoy this. I'd recommend this 100%. Yeah, definitely. We were going to get the cheese one, but Dan wanted to get the brisket one, which is what I did originally want, but I've also heard the cheese one's nice with the soup, but I am glad that we got the brisket. Let's see how much we get down this top when we can by the time we finish. <laughs> Final thoughts? We both really, really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, definitely. It's just really busy as a mobile order thing. It's not where you actually enter. It's like round the corner and you have to find a cast member. So it was a little bit confusing. I don't think it would be confusing if there wasn't so many people everywhere. Like it was just hard to find it, wasn't it? I think that's the problem. There's just so many people. Yeah, but it was good. Definitely recommend that. No, you're good. I've just said to Courtney before I put the camera on there. It's probably one of the best things I've actually eaten this week. Very, like, the soup was really good. The brisket was unbelievable, and the drink is so refreshing. Yeah, it's really nice. If you come into One Man's Dream, you can also meet Ariel. Yes, the live action Ariel, yes. And uh, I believe. And that's our character, mate. We might do Sully if he's not long as because it's not meant Sully this trip. Yeah. That's it, really. Isn't it? That's Sorry. it, really. We've done everything on it. That gasp was because I just trampled all over Courtney's legs, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I must admit that I didn't know that was there. I actually seen it the other day, didn't we? When we yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you can meet everyone in there. Yeah, I don't feel like people, like that's a known thing. Maybe it is, or maybe it just went over my head, but we walked straight in, didn't we? Yeah, but there, was, there was zero queues, zero people in there. there a few people went in after us. Yeah, but as we walked through then, she, we were the first people in there, we were just welcome straight in. Also, I know a lot of people talk about the Num Num cookie from this place here, Market. But we really like the jalapeno cheese pretzel, don't we? So good. We're actually going to grab one on the way out. Yeah, well, I, think, I think that's a good show. Love it. I kind of want to save myself for Epcot so I can eat more when we're there. But uh, it's too good to not get, isn't it? Yeah. I'll go, Kai, okay, there. Thank you. So we're going for this cheddar jalapeno pretzel again and then we've just seen this pineapple coconut slushie. We're just having two minutes sitting outside Mickey and Minnie's. The amount of kids I've seen just cartwheeling and handstanding in the middle of crowds is so funny. Um, but we're eating the cheesy jalapeno pretzel which we love and I really like this um, is it coconut pineapple slushie? It tastes just like the doll whip that we got in Magic Kingdom. So nice. Is it the tropical serenade? Really nice and refreshing. Isn't it? Unreal. Good. 
Yeah. So much cheese, so good. Oh, he's dropped his bottle of water. <laughs> mm. So we won't come back to Hollywood either, will we? So sad. Bye, Mickey and Minnie's. Love you. We've had a great, great few hours in Hollywood, haven't we? Hey, hey. That's our time at Hollywood done for the day. Well, for the trip. Yeah, for the trip. We won't be coming back to Hollywood now. So. Yeah, um, we're moving on to Epcot now, so we're going to go and get the Skyliner from Hollywood directly to Epcot. Yeah. Going is waving goodbye. Um, yeah, we might, should we walk and talk? Yeah. Yeah, um, just to clarify, we did Star Tours as our ride. We yeah. went to Woody's lunchbox for our food. We also and, got cheesy. Yeah, we also had the pretzel, pretzel yeah. We had to. Our character meets were had Little to. Mermaid and Sully. Um, yeah, we met live, live Action Ariel and Sully, who were great as well. Yes, and then we also had the photo pass on the boulevard. Yeah. And we also had the other photo pass just outside Mickey Minis. So that's Hollywood done, Animal Kingdom done, and now we're off to Epcot. We're off to Epcot, woo! So the camera died just as I was trying to show that we got onto the Skyliner. So I've just changed the battery. And we're just coming into Caribbean Beach now behind us. Uh, where we'll transfer around to Epcot. And we've arrived in Epcot. Dan's just checking some wait times. It's looking really busy. We've got 75 minutes for Remy's. Uh, 105 minute wait for Frozen. No thank you. But there is a 30 minute wait to meet Anna and Elsa, which could be our character meet. 15 minutes for three Caballeros, which could be an option. We haven't rode that yet either. We've got a 65 minute wait for Test Track. 50 minutes for Mission Space. Soaring? Uh, soaring is 50. 50 minutes for soaring. Should we do three Caballeros because we technically haven't done it yet and we've done the rest of the rides in this park? And then figment. decide who to meet. We Fig haven't done Figment yeah, actually. Figment to 35 minute wait. Do you know what's crazy? Those wait times means that there's all those people in those queues, and yet there's still all of these people that you can see. All, th all three parks so far have been very busy. Not entirely sure what this is, but the gates are open. I've never seen this open before, and there's Captain Hook. There's a there's Smee. There's one of the bears from the Country Bear Jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> that was class. <laughs> oh, like that one? You should get that one, yeah. What about you and Captain Hook getting mashing ones? That would be super cool. That would be really cool, right? That would be really cool. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've I never... I expect to see them as well, so that's cool. That's characters TikTok. Yeah, there. true. I've never seen uh, Captain Hook and Smee before. I've never had a character interaction with them. And I'm sure the Country Bear Jamboree bears are uh, leaving Magic Kingdom. I might be wrong on that, so... It was nice to actually catch a photo with them before they left, so. But yeah, that's a very good start to our challenge, isn't it? It was good, and me and one of the country bears had a little dance and a You did, yeah. <laughs> but it means that they, uh... Something around here smells unbelievable. Sorry to interrupt. Like, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it smells so good. It does smell good. It's very, like, caramel isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. But yeah, I was just going to say that that's a, a good start to our challenge, as that is the character meet done already. Yeah. yeah there's a... Uh, a new meet and greet with uh, Asha from Wish. Yeah. That's cool. There's a very long queue though. We need to go Google quick and uh, peep over if we're wrong. <laughs> peep. <laughs> so we're going to head into uh, where the Grand Fiesta Tour is and do the uh, Three Caballero ride to tick our ride off. Yeah, we haven't done it this trip so it uh, gives us a tick in the box and it's uh, again like we just said something we haven't done yet. So I think we're off to the left off coming on the right. <laughs> there she is. The actual love of my life. Love you. So if you've not actually been in here before, it's pretty cool. It's a bit of like a, a night setting market. And it's all like different stalls set up. Loads of Mexican different um, pieces of merchandise and stuff. And uh, there's a restaurant over there, San Angel. And then I think this is a queue for the three Caballeros. Whoa. Yeah. This is the queue for three Caballeros. I think everyone's had the same idea because the wait times are so high for every other attraction. I think everyone's came here. It's indoors as well. It's a chance to escape the heat. And uh, yeah, I think it's gone up to at least 20, 25 minutes maybe. The queue's moving pretty quick, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it'll be long this time. No, we're probably five minutes still, to be honest. Never seen it like this before though. 
almost got her and rolled them. Literally, it was only like a 10 minute wait if that was. Yeah, it wasn't it too much from, like from the minute we started the line. What the city on the boat, probably about 10 minutes just. Yeah. Right. Chilling. Hot well, we'll probably still ride another ride if we can, but like we, we previously, can. previously said that the wait times are ridiculous. So. It's so busy, honestly. Like, at, least at least we've managed to get on our own ride. It counts. just checked the wait times just as we got our three caballeros and Figment's dropped down to a 20 minute wait. I haven't done Figment for a couple of trips now and Courtney's never done it. So I've never done it before. Yeah it's her first experience and uh, another ride just in case uh, some of you guys so that don't count. <laughs> also I'm doing Guardians as a lightning lane at five o'clock which is in about an hour and a half. Yes. So we're just arriving at Journey into Imagination with Figment for Court's first ever time. Is it a post time? It's posting at 15 minutes, it said 20 minutes, so that's a result for us. It's dropped another 5 minutes by the time we've got here. 15 minutes standby. Hey! So mind if we do? After you? Oh, so cool. I know. Come in. Thank you. It is hot now. Like it's that. nice and cool in here though, isn't it? It's been nice out, we were at Halloween and stuff because the clouds were over the sun. But now the sun's blaring. Killing it. Perfect uh, weather for a drink around the world, I think. Oh, I think so too. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. progress in Epcot. We've done our characters, we've done our rides and we've done a fair few photo passes haven't we? I don't think we have, I think I don't think we've done a photo pass here yet. Oh, I thought... We're waiting for the figment one. I mean if characters count we've done a photo uh, pass. Yeah I think that's where I've been confused. Yeah. But we're currently just waiting for a photo pass here with figment and the uh, spaceship perf in the background. And then all we've got left to do then is go and get some food. And we're getting our beloved chicken skewer. Yes, we That's are. That's the plan. I can write Guardians in about 40 minutes. So we've just had our photo pass done there. I'm going to attach it below here. And we're just heading off to do Journey of Water again because we've loved it, haven't we? We have loved it. It's um, really cool. Yeah, on both occasions we've loved it. Yeah, so we're heading over there now and then we will complete Epcot by going to get some food. So our third visit into Journey of Water, as we love it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It's so beautiful. It's amazing with what they've done, isn't it? We're just gonna have a quick skim through it this time now. Yeah, we're not gonna do the first pass of the end either because we're doing twice. Yeah, yeah. So we've just picked up the violet lemonade, just to toss over. I um, Unreal. I had a bit of a dry throat, so I was like, get me a violet lemonade ASAP. 
Well, you just said to me, there's an ale version, and did I want to try that? Well, I didn't know there was, so I just went to the, for the original one for now. Um, but maybe uh, added that to the list of things to try in the, in the future. We're coming on Saturday for the whole day because it's Dan loves Epcot, so we're just going to do the day around the world mm -hmm. and he'll probably get one then. Mm -hmm. So we've come to the Chinese pavilion for our favourite favourite snack in the world. Yeah, literally, the spicy marla chicken skewer. Spicy marla chicken skewer. So good. Let's have it. So Courtney and I have just uh, parted ways. She's gone to ride Guardians now. And because I'm a massive wimp, as you all know, I haven't got a lot in your name for it. I'm just going to chill around, world showcase, get some food and drink. More, more so have a drink than anything because we've just had that skewer. Um, but everything that we need to do for our four parks one day challenge is now complete. Um, I'm just going to have a little wander around and grab myself a drink. So whilst Courtney is off riding Guardians, I've just got myself a six ounce Pilsner called Bitburger from the German Pavilion. And that came to 5.75. So what does a man do that's set free on World Showcase by himself? He goes to the Rose and Crown. So I've just come out the Rose and Crown. As you would have seen, I've just got myself a Guinness overlooking the lake. Just waiting for Quartz still, she's just texted me saying she's still in the queue. So I'm going to finish this up and uh, yeah, go meet her up that way so we can leave the park and get the monorail over to Magic Kingdom for our final stop of the challenge. So I actually believe that this bus service now, I may be wrong, I've never noticed this bus service before is now to help guests cross World Showcase instead of walking all the way around to get to the Disney Skyliner, potentially. There she is, reunited again with the mad woman that loves Guardians. Hello. Guardians was amazing. New got, song? No, I got hunger again, but oh. I forgot how fun it was, so is it, good? it was really good still. A little nostalgic trip then. It was nostalgic, that's the word. Now we're getting the monorail to Magic Kingdom! So we're just on the monorail now and we're heading to the transportation centre. Yeah, looking at some magic shots that have finally come through through the day. Yeah. Love them. We're even going to get the ferry boat across so we'll continue to start the monorail so then get into our final stop. So we've decided to get the ferry boat from the transportation centre because, it, and well yeah, unless it goes without us, because that means we've completed all the Disney transport on this trip, we've, got, we've used the Skyliner, we've used the buses, we've just used the monorails, the last thing to do is get a boat, we did technically get a boat from Springs the other day, but I love going across the Seven Seas Lagoon, I don't know what it is, I just love the lagoon, yeah you can see it can't you, the castle in the background. Uh, I think we're missing this one. Please wait here for host. No, I think we're going to miss this one, babe. Oh, we missed the boat. And there's no one on here, like literally, they could just let look, eight people on. I guess I have a schedule down now, but... They left without me. <laughs> they do this every year. <laughs> Bonus points if you know what film that's from. So I just waved to the captain. He was like, hey, thanks for the wave. Did you know we sail on waves? <laughs> we're coming for you. We're coming. Just about, <laughs> yeah, we're just about to arrive into our fourth park of the day, which technically means we've completed all four parks in one day. But we've set ourselves a little few tasks to do in each one. Yeah. So we've still got photo pass to do, character to meet, yeah. snack to get, or some form of some form of food, and do a ride while we're here. I'm but, a bit worried that in this park we're going to struggle with a character. Yeah. But we're going to do our best. Yes. What time is it? It is ten to seven. There's still time. Two hours and ten to happily ever after, which we're going to watch tonight. Yes, there's still time. We've got a good two, just over a good two hours to get it done. We're just going to check some wait times quickly. So big Thunder's thirty. Yeah. Haunted Mansion thirty-five. Right. Pirates is ten. Mhm. Mm 
Um, what else is 10? I think we need to go to Pirates because Pirates is 10. You're a 10. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pirates is a good plan, Arthur. Let's yeah. do this. Here's the castle for the 77th time. So Courtney's just put this lot of stuff on her lips that like, oh, yeah. is it like a plump or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like uh, a gloss. Yeah, like a lip gloss thing that like tingles. And uh, the photo Pascal just made us kiss while we are having that photo done. And now I feel like, hmm, Kylie Jenner. In other news though, that's photo pass done already and we've only Woo! been here a minute. Yeah. Pirates is a 10 minute wait so that's going to be the ride done. Hopefully. Um, yeah, and we can get some food. Uh, on our way to try and meet some of the princesses maybe. Sounds like a plan to me. So, change of plan. Pirates has jumped up to 30 minutes when we got there and I've just checked the app and Haunted Mansion is 20 minutes. So, we're heading in that direction now. That is the current plan. When we get to Haunted Mansion it could change. We're sticking with this plan? Yeah, still saying 20 minutes. We do. Let's do it. So we, we were really worried we were going to fail our four parks one day challenge because it's really difficult to make characters in Magic Kingdom anyway. But both the wait times were posting at 50 minutes and we just thought we've got no choice. So we dove, well, Courtney dived into the one whilst I went to go and find a snack. And uh, we got in there and there was no one in the queue. So I think it was a little bit of crowd control to be honest. There was zero yeah, people in there. We were straight in for a 50 minute wait. We went straight in and it still says 50 minutes on the thing and 50 minutes on the app. So I said to him, like. Sorry, we need to go that way. I'll just yeah, stop here. That's fine. I said, um, can my boyfriend come and meet me in the queue? Because it's a long queue. He went, it's not a long queue. And I was like, oh, it says 50 minutes, but we were literally first in. Yeah, there was no one in the queue at all. So that is now photo pass ride and character meet. All we need to do now is get some food, which is. We're doing right We can now. get food anyway, can't we? So. We're one, we're one step away from completing our little challenge. And uh, I'm heading to London Photo Pass. So oh yeah. Right. So I'm just currently doing a mobile order at the Pinocchio Village House. And as soon as this is ready, I'll uh, go in and pick it up. So we've gone for this slushie here that's opening in those little doors. And the breadsticks on the sides. And it's all come under the dining plan, so it costs us nothing as well. And um, we've got the breadsticks from Pinocchio Village House. I can't believe how many there are, they're massive as well. They look so good. Come with a little dip. Let's try it. Any good? Good okay. Hmm. I've completed them um, four parts one day, so. Yeah, it's completed, so it feels good. So they're good. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. It's actually a bit better, now I'm like halfway through it. Nice. Beautiful Dan. <laughs> Just so nice at night. Beautiful, my favourite place. So we're just walking past Crystal Palace now and it's just giving me like throwback vibes to our first day when we had a lovely meal and I would highly recommend booking a reservation here for breakfast. They're all amazing and the cast members both times we've been have been so Yeah, we've done it a couple of times now and um, yeah, very good reservation, especially for breakfast. So the fireworks are about to start. I have no idea how we're both still awake and standing. But we both feel alright, don't we? So zoomed in on your head then.
Four Parks, Wanda. Complete. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like it went so well and so smoothly and we did everything that we wanted to do and we've had a really good day and happily ever after was amazing at the end of the night. Yeah. What more could you want? It, it was a good day. Um, yeah. I actually don't feel too bad either. I was slightly exaggerating. My feet are a little bit throbby, but I feel good. Considering how I felt in the week, just doing like one park and or two parks, I don't feel too bad. I don't know what my hair is doing. Yeah, and um, we met a really lovely family in the um, lantern photo pass queue. And we spoke to them like while yeah. we were waiting. That was nice. And then we were just on the bus on the way home, and I sort of sat at the back, and Dan was standing at the front, and like we were, like all of us at the back were just laughing because all of the kids like one by one just kept falling asleep in the back dropping like dominoes weren't they it was so funny and then this little girl fell asleep on me and the dad was like oh i'm sorry and i was like no it's fine it was so cute <coughs> sorry choking on pizza but it was just nice it was it was a nice end to the day it's yeah. funny so funny but as a whole it's been a success successful we, we managed yeah. to get everything done that we wanted to get done there was a small chance we almost were going to fail it at the end Mhm. Mm so we should probably should have allowed ourselves more time. We probably should have allowed ourselves more time in the last park to get to Magic Year because of the fireworks starting and the way they like cut everything. Yeah, off. they corner everything off. So um, without that fifty-minute wait being a zero-minute wait, we would have probably failed it. Yeah, but we did it. Yeah, we, we did everything that we wanted to do. Yeah, so we managed to get. I know if you've probably watched this, you've seen it, but we managed to get a photo pass, a ride some form of food and meet a character in every single park mm -hmm. that's an achievement i believe mm. and we did and to be honest we did we met a fair few characters we've done a couple of rides in some parks and we met a lot of characters in epcot epcot we met loads like we just everywhere we looked there was someone to meet and we were like well the like wait times are short why not yeah. we were going to meet um moana in animal kingdom this morning but it was like 40 minutes but then we mm. met her in epcot in like not even 10 minutes yeah so I'm glad we didn't do that. Yeah, there's a few things that have worked out in our favour and it was meant to be, I believe. But nice. as you can see, we've now got back to the room. We've got our super slice of pizza each. I got some mac and cheese. We've not tried the resort mac and cheese No, yet. we haven't. I don't know how good it is, like, smashing a piece of pizza before bed. It's not even a pizza, it's like a third <laughs> it's of a, a pizza. Slice. It's just, it is as big as my head, though, literally. I mean, it's bigger than your head. <laughs> but, um, yeah, a good day. I'm ready for bed now, I must admit. Yeah, we're ready for bed. Um... Yeah, so we're going to wrap this up, end this one here. It's been fun. It's been great. It's been really fun. We've had a great day. Yes, thank you for joining me on Ventures. Thank you, my love. Cheers. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, drop us a thumbs up and uh, drop us a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. That will help us out massively. And we'll see you next week at Typhoon Lagoon. Bye. Bye.